The capabilities of unmanned aerial vehicles or drones is changing by leaps and bounds every year, and it's something Island Health sees as an important part of health care delivery, maybe even in the near future. We've definitely been thinking about drones and drone logistics for, for years and years and years. Just to be able to support um, better and more timely health care delivery for rural and remote, remote communities. 80% of Island Health's geography is remote and there are 40 rural and remote communities within Island Health, many only served by boat or air. It allows us to be able to um, perhaps move critical supplies and products at night between communities. The focus is on the North Island for now and Alert Bay, Cormorant Island, where there is a hospital and long-term care facility, is a good example of why. When the ferries aren't running and there's specific supplies, let's say specific wound care supplies or pharmaceuticals to be able to help the physicians there and the care team to be able to provide better um, and more timely care for individuals on that island, that's really where we see the benefit of, of a drone program. Island Health is partnering with the University of Victoria's Centre for Aerospace Research, which has the growing experience and the drone, of course. Uh, that's one of our uh, hex copters. Uh, that's uh, it's a modified uh, product uh, off the market uh, that uh, we've we've done to uh, accommodate a small payload on board. Um, as as of right now, it's sort of like a stepping stone demonstrator uh, as we as we build up the project. Carrying capacity, range, and a timeline on when this could happen are still being worked out. It's always depending on how much you need to carry on board. Uh, you get a trade-off with what type of capable range your, your vehicle might be able to uh, accommodate. So I think those are the nitty-gritty details that we'll be exploring with Island Health. 30 students, engineers, and researchers at UVic CFAR are working to make it all happen. And for Island Health, it says it wants to talk to more innovators about health care delivery. So that there's maybe other opportunities for us to be leading edge with other innovations and technologies that could provide a really big benefit in healthcare delivery.